Virgos, welcome back to House of Virgo. All right, you guys, we're going to take a look at your weekend reading. See what the messages are coming up for you for the weekend. So if you are new, please, please, please smash that like and subscribe button. My channel is growing exponentially and we're almost at the 25,000. So let's just keep it going. Keep it going. Um, so be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And I am temporarily not doing personal readings at this time. I will return to them. Um, I'm just not sure when that will be. Um, so at this time, that's the message to give you. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the spread a little bit different this weekend. We're gonna take a look and see what the energies are for Friday. And then we're gonna take a look and see what the energies are for Saturday. And then we're gonna take a look at Sunday. Okay, so we're going to divvy it up a little bit and just be mindful some of the messages may intertwine, okay, and if they do, they do, if they don't, they don't, but let's just see what the weekend messages, the weekend energy is overall for you, okay, so first I'm going to pull out the cards here and we're going to start with, okay, Friday, and if I need to clarify, I will. Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Overall message, the strength card, beautiful, courage, inner strength, bravery. Maybe you're doing something that's going to require a lot of bravery or something's going to show up over the weekend. Someone's going to show a brave face, uh, confidence, compassion, taming the inner beast, control, overcoming self-doubt, focus, persuasion, and influence. Okay. Very good energy. So that's Leo energy. So seeing you getting in a position of being confident about something this week or this weekend, what the heck's going on? All right, so let's take a look at your messages for Friday. Okay, you have teamwork, community. Oh, you have the devil. <laughs> and then you have your card, the, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so I definitely feel like on Friday, maybe this might have a work thing to do or you're finishing up a project. Um, could be fitting, finishing up some studying on Friday before the weekend comes. I see you. Um, collaborating with a person or a group of people um, hard work meeting a deadline okay meeting some type of a commitment um, now in love this could have something to do because you do have the four of wands and you have the three of Pentacles so there could be someone all right I'm just gonna give this strong love message that I'm getting um, there's someone here that <clears throat> is like addicted to you. <laughs> there's like an addiction. Okay, so I don't know. Is it a Ted Bundy addiction? Let's hope not. <clears throat> Diane Downs? Let's hope not. But there's um, someone here who is obsessed with you, Virgo. Could be a Capricorn. Could be a Taurus. Could be another Virgo. Doesn't have to be. But there's this energy of like, I am not like letting you go, Virgo. Someone here is super dependent, maybe even codependent. Um, I'm just hearing for some of you, this person may be married or they're in a relationship, and um, they may cheat on their spouse. Okay. That's their choice. It has nothing to do with you, Virgo. I'm just giving the message here. Um, hmm. Sneak away from the partnership. They may have a child. That kind of energy is playing out. Now, that's just a small message. It's not exactly for everybody. Um, overall, I feel like there's someone here who just feels completely powerless when it comes to you. And, I mean, this person, there's a reunion for sure. Friday, I feel like mostly the message is coming in. Um, somebody's coming home, somebody's returning. Um, 
there's a family spirit happening here marriage commitment like those are both commitment cards the both marriage cards the three of pentacles and the four of wands i just feel like if somebody's not re well they could be reaching out to you on friday because the three is three is all about communication so i do feel like some of you there's some kind of communication coming from somebody um and there will be some kind of message like i learn okay i'm hearing not only am i crazy about you virgo um but i also learned that I have some problems that I have to deal with and I don't want to let you go or I don't want to let this devil energy affect us or affect our relationship maybe they cheated they might be coming in to talk with you about a cheating situation okay or something that has happened and this person is growing and learning and changing um, and I just kind of feel like on Friday there, there's probably going to be some communication about that. You're going to hear something. Sometimes they're not giving me specifically what kind of communicate, like how it's going to come through. So any way that there is any type of talking or um, phone calls, texting, emails, that kind of thing, I feel like it's going to come through in that way somebody here is just like crazy dedicated to you they feel dedicated to you um and since your card is showing up now for some of you the roles could be reversed and you might be having this conversation with another person okay um hmm and if it's not someone that's coming back as far as a reunion you could be talking with someone at work or at school on uh, or someone that you're involved in some type of team project of some sort you could be communicating with them on Friday um, you get an invite some of you get an invite on Friday to go to a wedding or some kind of community event or a fair or something um, some type of that they're saying oh an invite to somebody's house you get an invite or to a party okay um, there might be a lot of like you know some devil energy there's <laughs> Virgo um, there might be some physical intimacy involved with this person on Friday um, that's pretty powerful with the devil card could be some drinking or you know you know whatever substances if you partake if you don't obviously I'm not telling you to do that you know to each their own <clears throat> but um, there's with this devil this just feels like a very um, can keep hands off of each other I was okay, gonna go into other things about the reading but this just drove right into love this just it just drove so we're just gonna play it out there's confidence either you're getting the confidence up to communicate with someone over the weekend or somebody else is getting the confidence up to communicate with you <clears throat> for some there is some kind of reunion or there's an event taking place on Friday some kind of communication and talking about this I feel like for some because the Queen of Pentacles she's sitting there looking down at her pentacle on her lap you might get this through your phone so like a text or something or on a laptop if you use a laptop okay for some it could be a piece of mail it could be like an invitation that comes in the mail from somebody okay let me see here I just feel like someone's paying very heavy attention to you over the weekend like every little wisp of hair the flecks in your eyes the colors um, the way you take your coffee I'm hearing um, the shoes you wear the way you walk someone's paying attention to every little detail about you 
or is noticing every little detail about you like really zeroing in on you over this weekend maybe it's somebody you could already be communicating with this person this could be somebody you know <clears throat> hmm. some of you might be on the job training or started a new job or you're starting a new job this weekend or some of you could be um, you know on Friday some of you could be working in carpentry or construction building homes starting a new job building if that's something you're doing or maybe starting your own company or you're apprenticing for some kind of union or labor union or something doing something you might find out that you get a job and they might want you to start on Friday or that are or, or the following Friday <coughs> <coughs> I feel like um, some of you they're just saying you're gonna get a bonus up front you're gonna get a paid bonus first <laughs> maybe that's like enticing you for the job like you get paid first for something here I'm not seeing any travel but it doesn't mean that you're not traveling anywhere on Friday um, and then they just said for some there's like physical labor very hard physical labor okay so they're giving me bandages so maybe it's something um, for some like an internship or, or a fellowship or something in medicine is what I'm hearing um, hold on oh okay um, so if you work in medicine there could be something working with family medicine I just heard and for others um, a blood drive perhaps over the weekend so yeah love can be happening in any of these places um, if you know if you're there could be a secretary I'm picking up a secretary or someone who works in payroll okay um, so we have Capricorn Aries um and Virgo okay Capricorn Aries yeah and Virgo okay um, so maybe you have that in your chart somewhere okay your uh, Sun moon rising or Venus let me see what else I pick up from this here okay I just heard somebody's name they gave me Evelyn or Eve Evelyn or Eve and then there's somebody's name that also starts with an A and I can't sound it out um, starts with an A okay let me see alright um, and I'm also seeing somebody's gonna be okay they just gave me coaching a sports team I just heard coaching a sports team on Friday okay coaching a sports team maybe meeting somebody meeting a coach or meeting someone at a game okay it's good um, alright they just said tell Virgo that the team is gonna win their team is gonna win <coughs> but watch out um, because it feels like there's going to be some cheating on the team <laughs> not the winning team the opposing team um, they might the winning team might win by default <laughs> not that you're not any good but you know what I mean okay um, let me see I just want to make sure that there are not any more messages here as we move forward Um, they just said somebody's coming in to tell you that they want to work on this marriage or work on this partnership I think I said that already spirit they're really pushing it they're pushing it home pushing it home there's a surprise coming for you over this weekend Virgo this is gonna be like this is kind of on Friday there's gonna be like a surprise 
Okay, so this might happen for some of you, might not happen at all. So, you know, maybe next week, but just keep your eyes and ears peeled for Friday because I really feel like um, there's some heavy energy playing out here. All right, let's see how Saturday's going to go. Oh, wow. So you have the Emperor, Aries. Okay. And you have the Nine of Swords, Gemini. Okay. You have the Fool. You have the Queen of Cups. Okay. All right, let me see here. Okay, Saturday, I feel somebody's traveling home to see their father um, or to visit a father figure or traveling somewhere. It doesn't have to be home. Traveling somewhere to visit parents, perhaps, or father, mother, um, brother, sister, a married couple. There's some stress and anxiety on Saturday, okay? Um, if it's not traveling, there's something going on. Oh, let me see. Okay, so you might get a phone call. It doesn't have to be family. It could be... It's someone close to you that's just in a position of like either fatherhood or father figure. Um, you might get a phone call that somebody's at their breaking point. They're having a hard time coping or facing life, like some mental anguish, or there's some regret or remorse, okay? Um, hmm. Some of you have exes who are in relationships, and they're regretting leaving you and going to another relationship, okay? But this person is showing up in a very stable even though stressed, I feel like someone's having a lot of regret. Very stable energy. Some of you might be traveling on Saturday with a female. Could be a friend. Could be a, a lover. Someone who is... Um, this is a very shy person they seem kind of shy they're very loyal um it's a female she's very beautiful or just very pretty well female as in um feminine yin energy she it could be a male okay um but they're showing up in the yin the very um feminine energy um, emotionally secure uh, loving sensitive they come through as very romantic. Um, there could be, there's travel attached to this person. Spontaneity as well. <laughs> there's spontaneity. Um, but there's stress as well. It's kind of like, <clears throat> I feel like somebody is just having a hard time perhaps with an Aries, there's stress with an Aries, okay, and this Aries comes through as very, like, controlling, but not, like, crazy over, like, egotistically controlling, just, um, like, very boss, like, in a very boss-like manner, they have a very bossy way, and someone's trying to break free from that bossy person on Saturday, okay, so maybe there's, like, there could be an argument or something that happens on Saturday. <clears throat> and I feel like, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm leaving for the weekend. <laughs> that kind of energy. I don't know if that's you. It could be a friend or it could be a lover who's having a really hard time with a father figure. And they're coming your way. They, they may be seeking. So they might be traveling toward you or coming your way on Saturday. Um, seeking, you know, it's careless. They're running. But they're running from negativity and unhappiness and stress. This person feels like they're at a breaking point. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling like a youthful energy as well. <clears throat> so this person could be younger. They may not actually be like youth, but they may have like a youthful appearance or a youthful way about them. 
Uh, this person just wants to, you know, a, like go on an adventure, just break free. I just, why am I keep, somebody, I must be channeling Freddie Mercury because I keep getting Queen songs. Um, a song I want to break free, I'm hearing. I want to break free. of strict discipline i want to break free of strict discipline it's stressing me out i feel overwhelmed i can't cope mental anguish it could be with a parent or a male uh, masculine figure who it could be and this could be you trying to break free or somebody else so we do have um So Libra, I'm picking up Libra energy. I'm also picking up um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, um, like I said, Gemini and Aries. Okay, so Saturday looks like the kind of weekend where either you're receiving someone who is having a really hard time with another person or it's you and you're breaking free. Also... <clears throat> Excuse me, I have to keep turning off my microphone because I keep coughing. Um, <clears throat> also, the emperor. You might be a father. You might be a, you know, have children. You might be struggling on Saturday with your kids. It's a father figure here who's struggling with... Um, with being a father, having a, and it's not, um, it's not regret for becoming a father. It's just a feeling of being overwhelmed. Okay. Somebody here having a feeling of being overwhelmed. Now, interestingly enough, you might be a single father or there's somebody in your life who is a single father. Um, because the emperor goes with the empress and the empress is not here. So someone is out of the picture. Okay. Um, so a father figure, either it's you or in, or, or someone in your life who's just having a hard time. Okay. There could be a split up and for others there, there could also be like a father figures being very stressed because someone that they were with before is returning or is taking is being spontaneous um and is trying to return to have some kind of new beginning on saturday so i don't know if this is going to be you or someone external to you and you will have to find that out on saturday because i think something here is going to be showing up this father this this emperor energy sits here kind of stressed about this like oh i don't know I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. I'm already doing so much on my own. I don't know if this is good. There could be like a helping somebody or they just show up at your door on Saturday. There's, there's somebody coming in on Saturday. Okay. This person has, um, light colored hair either they have like naturally light colored hair or they dye it or they have a wig or hair pieces um, or their hair is just lightened there's a lightning maybe from the Sun or just from whatever processing or something like that um, or they're connected to that connected and someone has a beard also okay someone has a beard Um, and the beard looks kind of light colored, but I feel like that might actually be gray. There might be some bits and pieces of gray. I don't feel like it's all like white. It could be for some. Okay. Interesting Saturday. All right. Let's take a look at Sunday. Okay. You've got death card, Scorpio. Four of Cups, Cancer, hmm, Three of Swords, Libra, oh my 
gosh. And the Seven of Swords, Pisces, not Pisces, excuse me, uh, Aquarius. Huh, okay, hold on. Sunday. This is tough. These cards are tough for Sunday because it represents apathy, pain, endings, and making a break for it. <laughs> Deceit possibly lies. So something is definitely coming to an end on um, Sunday. Some of you might have a funeral that you're going to on Sunday that you already know about, I'm not predicting death. Um, and you might, you might struggle with that on Sunday. Okay. Um, there's a lot of heartbreak. You might decide not to go. It might be too difficult for you. Okay. That's a very small message. And if you are experiencing something like that on Sunday, um, my prayers and well wishes and thoughts are with you. Um, let me see here. For others, there's just this run, getting out of something, getting out of like becoming something ending on Sunday. And it's kind of like, oh, okay, this is weird. Um, there's a new beginning though, because endings lead to change and release and new beginnings. Wow. All right, Virgo. I don't know who this is. Okay. So I gave you the signs. So it could be any of those signs. I said Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, and Scorpio. There's someone here who is absolutely regretting not taking another person up on the offer, the love offer. Um, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain, loneliness. Um, there's separation here, but this ending, someone's putting an ending to this indifference and this regret and this pain and is strategizing, making a break for it, which means that they're going to take a, they're going to like they run away. They're going to run, run towards you is how I feel. I don't know who this person is. <laughs> I mean, like you might know who it is, but this person is taking a risk here. They stalemated somebody. They're running away from another person who they possibly thought there could have been a future with, but there's nothing here. And they're running back towards you. And they're looking back at that person, leaving them with the two swords and taking the five. And that five swords means like it's a done deal. They know what they want. They're going after what they want. Is that you? It could be. I feel like somebody here is putting an end to self-absorption, absor self-absorption, stagnation, disillusion, boredom, uh, missed opportunities. And regret okay this person is coming in with nostalgia I mean they're just thinking about you they're coming back in pain is too unbearable for them they feel confused and they feel alienated and I don't know this bottom part of this reading Sunday here um, this might resonate with you with the twin soul reading I did um, now, is this person actually going to be reaching out on Sunday? So far, I don't see that. But I do see Sunday is kind of like, wow. Okay, this is... This is kind of like a surprise in itself. Somebody's surprised, they're saying, by how they're feeling. Okay. 
Now, I will say, okay, that here you are showing up again. I will say that you, Virgo, um, feel betrayed by someone. And you, Virgo, are putting an end to something. Sunday seems to be a profound day for you. You're making huge change. Um, some of you are going to wake up on a Sunday morning and realize this wasn't a missed opportunity for you. And that longing will be gone. Okay. However, this person is coming in with, to reconcile. Okay. So I feel like the roles have reversed here. Sunday, there's going to be like somewhat of a wake up call for both of you. Okay. The judgment. Huge wake up call, an awakening, renewal, decisiveness. Somebody's homesick. You're homesick and they're homesick, but they're homesick for you and you're homesick for home, which is within yourself. So I feel like we've got some a runner chaser situation that has flip flopped. Yeah, here's the communication. Okay, there's going to be communication news this person's going to come in really fast i feel like you're gonna <laughs> you got some stuff it, it feels like overall friday you're gonna be pretty good i feel like you're gonna have a good friday i feel mostly like saturday might be a little and just remember these energies can flip okay they can reverse they can play out throughout the weekend they can combine and blend in different ways throughout the weekend okay so let's not be too rigid here just let it flow um, I feel like Saturday is going to be more like either you're going to be receiving someone to help them with something or or you're going to be receiving some help yourself but Sunday looks mostly like somebody's coming back in to claim you right when you are unclaiming them. There's definitely awakening. Some of you are going to be like Sunday. I don't know. You get up, you go sit at, I don't know, you sit in church, you do your prayers, your meditation, you know, you do your walk, you, you feel that freedom, you feel that release because that's what judgment is. This is renewal. You feel a sense of renewal. You snap back, okay? There's forgiveness happening here. Um, you you get back into this grounded, solid foundation with yourself, and um, right at that, right at the moment that this is happening, okay? Some of you might be, you know, running a marathon, passing the baton. Maybe you actually are running a marathon on Sunday. Um, simultaneously. There's somebody else here on Sunday. While you're snapping back, they're snapping back in. So the roles are reversed. But you're not running. I don't see you running. I see you. You're not running or chasing. You're just present. And I don't see this person running or chasing. Now they're present. They're present to, they're mindful of what they want. And it's you. Okay because of this regret something must have happened something didn't go forward with them and I don't know that the door shut but I don't know that you feel it for them you know anymore for some if this is a past person which if someone has a feels like it was a missed opportunity or regret it could be a past person but it could be a past person like somebody that you talked to two weeks ago and they ghosted you and you're like eh, it's done not interested okay and you got you're just like uh, you let it go and then they're popping back in like oh ooh, ooh. <laughs> so these messages are like I don't know I hope you like the spread if you guys like it I'll do it again next Thursday so we'll have the Friday Saturday and Sunday all in like a three row um, and then you can reflect back on it over the weekend and then come back and leave me comments and let me know if any of this stuff you know played out for you in any way all right, so I'm going to leave that message there. I hope that you enjoyed that, you guys. Um, have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you guys on Sunday. All right, take care. <laughs>